The second free character recently released for fighting EX Leia, Pulumperna fits into the lightweight and extremely nimble character archetype. With a variety of dive kicks and airborne mobility, Pulum dances into the fight as a dangerous addition to the game's roster. First things first, Pulum has a double jump. This is important, so keep it in mind. Simply press jump again whilst airborne to do this. Her backdash covers great distance, and her run speed is superb. Opposite to V Rosso, Pulum actually has a fair amount of command normals. Forward medium punch is an overhead. It can't be special or super cancelled, but it can go over low attacks, as she leaves the ground to do it. This move will also switch sides against a crouching opponent. This exact normal exists in the air too, but it's performed with down and medium punch instead. On hit, Pullum will fly forward and is able to perform another double jump afterwards. She can only do this move once in the air though. Reverse ankle is back and medium kick in the air. It's a kick that goes behind her and it's a wonderful cross-up attack. It's a great complement to her jumping medium kick, which is her other cross-up in the air. This can hit really meaty, so get used to using it. Special move wise, the Drill Purus is a straightforward drill kick. Quarter circle forward kick inputs it and she covers three different distances depending on strength. They link into supers and do good damage by themselves. Drill Purus is also performable in the air and the angle changes again depending on move strength. Air drills are mid, not overhead, so they don't mix up by themselves. The Tenel Kick, Quarter Circle Back Kick, is a flip attack that can be added to the end of strings or chains. Heavy version knocks down, and the medium and light leave the opponent standing. Light version is significantly safer than the other two. Finally, the Pullum Kick is performed with DP Towards Kick. It has invincibility on startup, and acts as a combo ender, anti-air, and wake up attack. Time for the supers once again. Praic Larum is double quarter circle back kick. Similar to a DP, this goes vertically in the air and caches out damage on the end of combos. It acts as a reversal as well and can be linked into her air super Kind Wind. Speaking of Kind Wind, this is performed with double quarter circle forward punch and only works in the air. This move is an extra way to cash out damage both on the ground and in the air and can be added to her Pullum Kick to make punishing the Pullum Kick a bigger risk on block. Lastly, she has Reza Kana. Quarter circle forward kick causes her to do a grounded string of attacks that end in an uppercut. This is also invincible on startup and allows for grounded super extensions after the fourth hit to really optimize your damage. In terms of game plan, she is a mobile monster. With so many ways to maneuver around, Pullum can double jump, air drill, and sprint her way into combat pretty easily. Here are a few things to remember. Ground drills are unsafe on block after normals. However, her light tenel kick is safe. The only thing to watch out for is that the normals into light tenel kick have an interruptible gap in between, so don't go to this option too much, even if your goal is to chip and meter build. Airborne drills high up in the air are a little bit more unsafe. Do them low to the ground and they become completely safe and you have the option to combo. Utilize the safe air drills to establish respect out of the opponent. With so many ways to alter your jump arc and stay in the air longer than other characters, the air drills are one of the biggest ways you can constantly keep them in check. Pullum is an air-to-air -air queen. Airborne normals into light drill can combo before they hit the ground, allowing for either a super to stay more consistent, or even more normals into slightly harder to perform conversions. This does mean that she seriously hurts if you get clipped by air normals against her. She doesn't just need to be good in the air though, as her anti-air buttons are also plentiful. Pullum kick, crouching fierce punch, and standing light kick all anti-air, but the light kick combos into heavy drill for a full punish. 
It's early days of course, but so far, here are a couple of decks that Pullum players are using and suggesting. Shinobi naturally works well with Pullum. We all know by now that Knockdown Presence is way scarier with invisibility. Well, Pullum takes that and adds a double jump to it. Even though you can see her golden glitter as she double jumps, it can still be very stressful to see what side she's landing on or whatever her next move is going to be. Also, nobody is ever going to say no to Guard Cancel and Guard Break all together in one deck. She can be mobile, hard to see, and up close gain more presence due to Guard Break and defensive options because of Guard Cancel. Almost seen as an alternative to the freshly nerfed Babel, Aggro allows Pullum to gain more damage for being aggressive due to Rampage, which is easy to obtain by the way, and increase chip damage. This pretty much means that for playing Pullum correctly, your reward is pretty much extra damage. Increase her grab range for extra icing on the cake, and give her erase to deal with projectiles from a distance. There's also Miracle combos shared around online due to folks like Nerd Josh, but Miracle does take a little bit longer to earn than others. As you can see, the payout is still pretty nuts anyway. Pullum Perna is a lot of fun. She's extremely mobile, her combos are enjoyable to pull off, and her air movement combined with drill pressure definitely makes her one of the scarier characters to fight right now. A perfect character for those that like good buttons, tools, and damage combined. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.